Thank you, Prime Minister. Well, today's announcement is building on what has been a significant investment uh, by our government to address violence against women. But of course, uh, we know that violence against women and children has been a national crisis for some time and is a national shame. Every time a woman loses her life at the hands of a man, it is one death too many. Uh, but the rates of uh, this in this country are unacceptable. Now, we also know that financial insecurity can be a barrier uh, to women ha uh, leaving a violent relationship. And knowing they have the support, the financial support that they need is critically important. That's why I'm very pleased today that our government is announcing the Permanent Leaving Violence Program. This program will provide victim survivors with the financial support, risk assessment, safety planning and referrals to other essential services at that critical time when they are making the decision to leave. Through the evaluation and redesign of the pilot programs, we know that this program not only assists with financial support, but also helps women that may have otherwise fallen through the cracks to connect with other supports. Recent evidence has shown that many people who access this support, it'll be the first time they've ever had contact with a service. Now, today we're also announcing that the government will soon be launching uh, the next campaign as part of Stop It At The Start to directly counter the influence that rising levels of social media and online content are having that promote violence against women. This will directly challenge the material online and encourage conversations with families about the damaging impact. I know as a parent of two young boys that there is a lot of stuff that I'm not aware of and don't know and don't understand uh, what they might be influenced or challenging, being challenged about on the online world. So we do know that we need a conversation about this. We do know we need to give parents the support and resources to have those conversations and we do need to counter this violent online material. We know that to end violence against women, we do need generational change and we need positive role models for young boys to ensure that those negative stereotypes are countered and that influences that promote damage, damaging attitudes towards women are also countered. It's time uh, that this ends and our government has and will continue to put policies and programs in place to, hold, to help with the goals in line with our national plan. I finally want to say we need persistent, consistent and sustained attention and action on this issue and uh, all governments, businesses, all civil society, individuals need to work together to achieve change.